So we heard car shopping at this like little lot. Uh, we were looking at this five series here, but um, the whole thing was like keyed, if you look, like around the entire car, like the entire car. So there was clearly some like mad, like ex-girlfriend, boyfriend that just like absolutely keyed the crap out of this thing. So that one has a V6. It's only about 240 horsepower-ish, but we did find the seven series over here on the lot and it's way cleaner, way nicer interior, way nicer wheels, um, pretty nice color. It's already tinted really nice interior as well the other one was tan on the seat so it was iffy but this one has a v8 with over 400 horsepower freaking way better deal way better deal it's cheaper too and it's like double the speed as the last one so yeah pretty big fan um yeah these mirrors will probably have to be replaced but it's not a big deal i could still definitely see out of them pretty fine so yeah i like this thing a lot yeah so never mind the other bmw we found an e46 and it is mint it's absolutely mint. I love it so much. So nice. So nice. Look at this. So yeah, there's a BMW logo on the front that we can easily replace. So yeah, I really want to do that. That will probably be the first mod. So yeah, but looks so nice. Interior, I think my mom locked it. I'm not sure though. No, here we go. So yeah, interior, super nice, super retro, and super clean. I love it. So yeah, I think this is what we're buying. So yeah. Well, first day of BMW on one trip. Uh, there's an issue with my headlights. For some reason, every single time I turn my headlights on, uh, the lights just flicker. So, uh, yeah. We're gonna go all the way drive out north to get the dealership to fix it for us because they said they're gonna fix it for us. So, uh, yeah. This is gonna be quite the drive. So, yeah, let's just go up north, I guess. When I was on the highway, I, <laughs> I, I saw this like white cap fly over my windshield and I'm like, oh, that'd be funny if my BMW logo fell off. It actually fell off. All right, I don't know when this is gonna be in a vlog, but uh, this is the new car. I'm filming this before I even reveal the new car to you guys. But um, yeah, <laughs> it has never rained this much. Like ever, I've never drove in this much rain before. Cold start though. The car barely started there. <laughs> uh, we definitely need some. Uh... Okay, so the new shifter came in, uh, currently in the car. Also, I'm filming this before I even revealed the car, so I don't know what vlog this is gonna be in. It may just be out of context. Anyway, if this is before I revealed the white gauges, there are white gauges in the car now. They were black before. So pretty much what you have to do, I believe, is put a neutral. So you gotta, you gotta shift, you gotta turn it on to the first, uh, let me see if I can get my keys here to the, I believe the second uh, mode in the ignition. So like, look, first, second, or the weekend is on. <laughs> I'm gonna turn the handbrake on so I can get this into neutral. And pretty much what you wanna do, I believe is hold on this and then you just pull on it really hard. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Oh, it worked. Okay, why was that actually kinda easy? Okay, now what we do is we get the new one and we simply just put it in there and I think we just slide it on just like that. So there. There. Okay. That took like a few seconds. And now the new shifter knob is on. And the old one is out. Look at that. No more grandpa mode. Now I just got to replace these wooden panels here. But yeah, that feels nice. Let's go, dude. So I ordered these yesterday. And they weren't supposed to come till like uh, September like 17th, I think. So I'm honestly very surprised that they're already in, but I'm not mad about it. Also gotta get a new BMW logo. Look at that. I've never struggled to open up a hood more than my E46. I just realized I had my finger in front of the camera for like 10 seconds. It's fine, I'll probably cut this part out. Just stop filming. 
Uh, what I'm guessing I need to do is kind of bump out the clamp here. I'm just gonna do this. Maybe. I'm gonna use two of these. Yeah, I just have to do the side ones, I guess. Uh, oh, I think this comes out, actually. Okay, we got the first one out. <laughs> and the first one in. So this should hopefully... Honestly, I'm going to try to just snap this in. Okay, the first one is done. Look at the difference. Do the same thing I did with the last one. Pull this kind of down-ish, and then kind of push this out. Something like that. Because for some reason... I guess that worked too. And then honestly, I'm just going to... Easy as pie, come on. Should do it. Uh, that's a way to do it. That thing actually sounds so good.